What's up, everybody? Kaz Borgonzo here. Another episode of What's Next, your daily dose. Happy Tuesday to you all. Car insurance. What do you think of? You think of Liberty Mutual. You think of uh, Nationwide, you know, the big boys. And then, of course, one of the oldest, State Farm. You know, you hear the jingle. You see the logo. And, of course, those wonderful ads. One of my favorites, of course, is with Jake, the original Jake, not the updated progressive Jake. But, of course, you know, you have to go with the times. But um, the catchphrase, like a good neighbor, yeah, recently, more like like a good groomer. Yikes. Let's take a look. This comes out of the blaze. State Farm has partnered with Transgender Advocacy Group to indoctrinate five-year-olds, group says. Now, this is the initial story, and then we'll get to the lovely meat. State Farm, the insurance company that advertises itself as Good Neighbor, has asked hundreds of its employees to donate books promoting the alphabet themes to children as young as five to local schools and public libraries, according to an email leaked by a whistleblower. <clears throat> Excuse me. The company partnered with the Gender Cool Project. Yes, it's, you know, it's cool to be have multiple genders. An advocacy group for a trans youth for a campaign to help diversity. Classroom, community center, and library bookshelves with a collection of books to help bring clarity and understanding to the national conversation about being trans, inclusive, non-binary. Yes, all the signs of mental illness. An employee email from January 18th of this year obtained by Consumers Research states, the project goal is to increase representation, yes, mob representation of the alphabet books and support our communities and having challenging, important, empowering conversations with children as young as five. State Farm Corporate Responsibility Analyst Joe, I mean, I'm sorry, Jose Soto wrote to employees. There is the actual email leak. State Farm asked employees to deliver a package of three books, a kid's a book about being trans, a kid's book about being non-binary, and a kid's book about being inclusive to schools and libraries and areas, said Will Hill, uh, exclusive, uh, excuse me, Executive Director of Consumer Research. I'm not going to read the entire story because I'm going to get into the meat and potatoes of it. But it turns out that, uh, yeah, State Farm denies asking agents to donate alphabet books to schools, says it ended partnership with advocacy group. Really? Wow. State Farm denies reports that it asked agents to donate pro-alphabet books to schools and says it ended a partnership with the advocacy group, advocacy group excuse me, involved in the program. The nationwide insurance company released statements to the Daily Caller after facing online backlash, yes, after it got slapped down over emails sent in January that appeared to call agents to donate controversial books to local schools and public libraries. State Farm is partnering with the Gender Cool Project to help diversify school classrooms, community centers, library bookshelves with a collection of books to help bring clarity and understanding to the national conversation about being trans, inclusive, non-binary. And that was the email. The project goal is to increase representation in alphabet books in schools, supporting our communities, challenging, important, empowering conversations with, of course, kids as young as five. Yes, we're going after your little baby boys and girls. Some on social media responded by calling a boycott against State Farm. On Monday, the company denied the claims Dude, it's an elite email, you're, but you're denying it. Okay. Uh, in a statement, and then issued a second statement saying, yeah, um, that partnership, yeah, it's over. Our partnership with this program evolved qu quickly. And a decision was made several months ago uh, for participants not to share resources with schools, said a State Farm spokesperson who added the program was strictly voluntary. Of course it was. The Daily Caller documented an incident and appeared to contradict a statement from the company. State Farm offered further clarification in a second statement. Conversations about gender identity should happen at home with the parents. Oh, now you do. Okay. We don't support required uh, curriculum uh, on schools on this topic. We support organizations providing resources for parents to have these conversations. Yes, because it's all about the conversations. Read this statement. 
We no longer support the program allowing for distribution of books in schools, they concluded. We will continue to explore how we can support organizations that provide tools and resources that align with our commitment to diversity and inclusion. Here is more from the State Farm debacle. Like a good neighbor? More like a creepy neighbor. Wow. State Farm is asking hundreds of insurance agents to volunteer for a unique project. The goal? Get agents to purchase books about gender fluidity that are specifically written for kindergartners and then donate them to classrooms, community centers, and libraries. Big, woke corporations like State Farm recruiting agents to talk to kindergartners about gender fluidity and transgenderism? That's creepy. Visit likeacreepyneighbor.com to get the facts and take action. Paid for by Consumers Research. My thoughts. State Farm got caught. They got caught, just like others who have pushed this alphabet agenda, this alphabet mantra, this alphabet garbage down your kids' throats. They got busted. And what happens when you get busted? You start going into denial. You start backpedaling. State Farm couldn't run fast enough, even if they were the Flash. They couldn't backpedal fast enough. And, um, well... We, 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 we broke up the partnership with this group, you know, because it didn't align with our, 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 you know, our policies. Even though in the leaked email, you said that the partnership was a good thing for kids in schools. But even if you had 50 Ron DeSantis's, you still couldn't stop corporates from doing what they're going to do. They are going to bend the knee. They're going to bend over. They're going to kiss the ring of woke. Because if not, they will come for them. Just like they did with Bob Chapek at Disney when they came for his ass and he had to backpedal and he had to mea culpa and kiss the ass. It's always great to see parents and just concerned people who actually have these products to stand up and say, yeah, you keep doing this nonsense, we're going to cancel your ass. And so uh, State Farm is doing a lot of ass kissing as we speak right now. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Bargonzo. This is What's Next. I want to see more just like this. Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.